Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of my Gateway Experience. This is episode 11, and thank you so much for tuning in. If you haven't seen any of my other videos, go ahead and check them out, as I will be referencing quite a few of those points in this video. It's an experience that builds upon itself, and it's just getting more and more complicated as we go on. Um, if you're not lost or anything, though, feel free to keep watching so you're good to go. And the purpose of these videos is to document my journey through my gateway experience and uh, the different focus tapes um, that are associated with each wave. There are a total of six waves, and right now I'm on the first one, and I am on the advanced focus 10 tape. And I'm just putting in the reps. This is my seventh time doing it. I just did it this morning. And I feel amazing. Uh, it's a, a great experience, something that really helps us tune in to our inner self and also our emotions and our spirit. So it feels really good. And uh, today it's 10.55 a.m. Uh, I'm late. Yesterday, last night, I had everything ready. Uh, prepared to be able to go to sleep and uh, wake up early at 5 a.m. I did every single thing in my power to be able to do that and then uh, I ended up going to sleep later than I had hoped because of uh, personal family reasons and uh, it's just the way it works in life so I just have to keep showing up and doing my best so uh, that's the reason why I went to sleep a little bit later yesterday than I wanted to and uh, now today uh, you know I woke up at like 9 a.m. and so that's why about two hours later I'm recording this right now it's 10 55 and so uh, I just got out of my shower my cold shower and it went well um, last night I had some dreams too though coincidentally and it was weird, the dream that I had. I don't really know what it means, but I'm just going to tell you guys about it. So I was in a classroom. No, it wasn't a classroom. Sorry. It was a library. It was a library where there was a bunch of students uh, my age, so a little bit older. I'm 25, so um, I think some were like Hispanic people, and it was like there was a lot of Spanish stuff going on, but there was also English stuff going on, so it was bilingual. And I was taking a test, and this test that I was taking was uh, kind of tricky because they had a TV playing, and they also had people that were, like, trying to cheat and tell you the answers. And the whole thing is, like, I, I wanted to make sure that I didn't cheat and I didn't get distracted by the TV because there was a time limit to the test. So the first portion of this test... I kind of sat there like answering these questions and they were kind of boring and they were like super pretty much straightforward and I felt like I was making sense of them but then at the same time like not really some of them were really complicated and then um, yeah I there was like some kind of I, I was starting to panic or something and then there was like a recess and another one of the students there kind of flashed me this card that said hey recess you know so don't worry we're about to go take a break. So we went took a break and then I was late coming back. And for whatever reason, when I came back, I was in my car and I was driving my car with my daughter in it. Um, and we were both driving to go to show up late to the second half of the test. I was like an hour or two late and I show up and the librarian or main person that's supervising everything is like, Oh, wow, I didn't know you had it. They were like super nice. They're like, oh, wow, I didn't know you had a daughter. Like, here, bring her over here. This other person here is specifically here for that. They'll go ahead and take care of your daughter while you uh, go ahead and take this test. And so I sat down to take the test, and it was mandatory. There was nothing I could say about it. I had to, you know, I was like, well, can you come bring my daughter closer so I can at least? And they're like, no, we don't want any distractions, not only for yourself, but for any of the other students and uh, we're just, just going to have to sit here and take the test and there was like I was kind of seeing that there was another portion of the test at the end where it was like fully only drawing 
and they were like giving you kind of prompts of things to draw. But I wasn't there yet. I was still getting bogged down by these long, boring, simple questions that you just had to like sit there and read and like just like go through and check and, and all this stuff. And, and they were very logical. And then I guess the second part was like to reveal your subconscious with your emotions. That's why they had like drawing and stuff. So it was more creative. And I kept getting distracted by this TV. And I also had another student that was like trying to give me an answer to a question. And they were like, here, this is the answer to this question. And it ended up like they were tricking me because that wasn't actually the answer. I should have just stuck to my answer. And, um, and then like this, the, the supervisor saw that that was happening. And they were like, hey, you know, um, you can't do that. You're cheating. You know, uh, they were like, no more secrets. That's what they told me. They were like, you can't, I don't know what that means, whatever. And then I was like, all right, well, and I just, I was like, all right, whatever. I'm just going to watch TV from now on because this is ridiculous. <laughs> like, I don't even know why I'm here. I don't even know why I'm doing this. Like, um, I like drove my car. At that, that point, I pretty much knew that I was dreaming because how could I drive a car into a library? I was just like, all right, whatever. And so that was an interesting dream. Um, I, I just think I just woke up after that and, uh, and uh, I, I woke up to like family problems, you know, so I was like, man, all right, well, let's go. This is it. This is part of my test, I guess. I don't know. Um, so, you know, now we're here. And that was <laughs> like, what? The heck? This is crazy. So, yeah. Um, then I went ahead and did my practice. And I was as I was doing my practice, uh, I just jumped straight into it. And uh, I couldn't stop thinking about this family problem that I'm having. And so it was tough to focus. But when I finally did enter the focus 10, I was in a very, very deep, relaxed state. I could tell my body was really falling asleep. And, uh, and it was deeper than any other time I've done it. So today is my eighth time doing the advanced focus 10. I only have two more times uh, after tonight. Uh, so tonight will be my eighth time doing it at night. Actually, I've skipped a couple of days. So, but it's my eighth day today. And so I just need to do it two more times. So that'll be tomorrow and then the day after. So Tuesday will be my last day. Today is Sunday. And uh, yeah, it was deeper than before. My uh, reval is feeling good. My reval is feeling like. Uh, very natural and, and I feel comfortable in it and it's just feeling much more palpable and um, and then my focus 10 was much deeper um, I could see certain things it was like I was uh, almost like coaching myself along I don't know exactly how to say it but um, I was in like uh, I was in, I was like while I was doing my focus 10 it's like I was still dreaming I was now not only a, not no longer in the library but now I was in like the the track and field portion of things and I was on a race you know so my focus 10 carried on I don't know if this is like a subconscious story that is just going on but it's amazing and I feel really good that I can really pay attention to myself at a deep level and I think that's what I'm gathering here uh, from this uh, focus uh, advanced focus 10 is really going into the deeper parts of myself, but I can also go outward. I can also expand. Um, I think that's uh, another thing that I can kind of focus on as I go along. But first, I have to be fully aware of myself, I feel. Maybe not. I don't know. I just got to let my uh, soul do the driving, I guess, and just kind of go along for the drive, the ride and, and to kind of uh, understand what's going on. I think that's a major theme as uh, yesterday I talked about not forcing things and then um, really allowing those synchronicities to happen uh, because you know when we force things we kind of get in our own way and uh, and so that's why I feel like you know uh, I mean I'm, I'm obviously starting beginning with the end in mind so just kind of to like wrap some of the things that we've talked about so far is to really have a clear vision of where I want to go. But then after that, I just got to kind of let things just happen one day at a time so that we can get there. So uh, I guess this video is going to be short.
Uh, I think that's pretty much all I got. Another dream uh, was interesting. And uh, things are just getting more and more interesting as we go along. So I'm looking forward to episode 12. And if you guys have any questions, feel free to let me know. If you have any feedback, let me know. And until next time, I will see you guys soon. Peace.